Joe, today I heard you announced a new cell phone product for use on the FirstNet network. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so this is uh, CellFi Go Red. We announced this today. Uh, we make a variety of smart signal boosters and, and active DAS products for cellular coverage. And today we're announcing uh, a new product in, the, in our line. We're calling it Go Red. And it's uh, for use on FirstNet's network. And it, uh, it will boost uh, FirstNet's uh, bands 12 and bands 14. Okay. And how is FirstNet different from public safety? So yeah, that's a great question. Uh, FirstNet is really represents an advancement of, of public safety and public safety service. There's a variety of, of legacy radio networks that are available, LMR, SMR, that the agencies have been using for, for many years. FirstNet is an LTE nationwide uh, network that will bring advanced capabilities and a lot of interoperability to the first responders and public safety agencies uh, nationwide. And uh, this product will help uh, you know, build that fabric together and, and, and deliver the coverage that uh, FirstNet has, has promised. And who needs a product like that? So, great question. This is uh, really for anyone who wants to support FirstNet service. Uh, we're rolling it out in phases. Phase one is an in-building product, so really appropriate for anyone that has a, a need for public safety coverage in their building which is pretty much anyone if you're in the United States. Uh, there's about, uh, we, we estimate with our work with the Safer Buildings Coalition, there's about eight million buildings just in the US that, uh, that could be serviced by this product. Um, it's, it's perfect for that. It, one of these systems by itself will support about 15,000 square feet. So uh, easy, to, easy to deploy. If you have a larger space, you can layer these products together. Uh, they'll work great together. Um, and so we've, we, feel, we feel really good about it. What have you found to be the sweet spot in terms of size of building where this product is the best fit? Um, great question. This product, uh, we, we have other variants and other, uh, with other band supports and other network supports, and we see people deploying it down to the size of a closet. You might have a closet that doesn't get coverage and you have something in the closet that needs coverage. Maybe it's a cradle point router or it's a, it's a modem or it's a, you know, some device that needs cellular coverage. So it could be as small as a closet or as large as a 15,000 square foot space. It really, it really doesn't matter. The beauty of this product is that it will deliver cellular service to anything that's inside that coverage bubble. So whether it's a, a modem or a handset or, or whatever it is, it will, will benefit from the service. So it doesn't matter if it's a 500,000 square foot building or a 10,000 square foot building or a closet. This product fits well for that size. It fits bucket. well. Um, one of these systems will support about 15,000 square feet. So if you have a larger space, you would need to deploy multiple, multiple, uh, multiple instances, uh, which is fine. Uh, they work great together. You can layer, you can layer 10 in, in a building if you wanted to. Um, and uh, many of our customers are doing that. So, so Joe, uh, how big is the first net market for this product in the U.S.? Yeah, uh, great question. So. We work with the Safer Buildings Coalition. Uh, they've done a bunch of research on this. Our estimation with them is there's about eight million buildings that would be covered by, or should be covered by FirstNet service. And how about globally? So globally, um, it's an interesting question. What we see is that many of the, of the global regulatory agencies are watching what we're doing here in the US with LTE and with FirstNet. And what we expect is that many of these countries will actually follow in the architecture and the ecosystem that we're creating here. So uh, US is the first market for LTE-based uh, public safety, but we think it will quickly become a global phenomenon. So we're excited about our opportunity here. Okay, so we were talking about the first net market, you mentioned public safety. How do those work together? How does this product work alongside one versus the other? Yeah, so, so public safety radios have existed for a long time. Uh, FirstNet is totally new. It's, it's based on LTE versus SMR or LMR, or some of the other radio technologies that are, that are legacy. Uh, FirstNet is completely complementary to all of those systems. This product will, can sit side by side with any existing uh, public safety equipment. This is specific to FirstNet, so you're not going to have uh, any inter interaction with the existing public, existing public safety radios, but it works great with with those systems or alongside those systems if they've already been deployed. Okay. 
Well, uh, how does this product affect Nextivity's roadmap of other products? So, uh, we're very excited about public safety as a market. Uh, it's a perfect category for us. We, are, we have proven that we are a phenomenal coverage solution. That's what we do. We deliver cellular coverage where, where it's difficult to do. The, the wireless networks have a very hard job, impossible job, to deliver coverage everywhere, and that's where we step in. With, with public safety specifically, coverage is not optional. Coverage is mission critical. Yeah. Uh, there are lives at stake that, that can depend on communications. And that's exactly what uh, Nextivity delivers. It's what Cellfi is. We're a coverage company. And so we really, we really are ex excited, enthusiastic about working in the public safety context. So a lot of people may not be familiar with this type of product. How does uh, um, uh, Cellfi, and in particular this product, help increase the coverage or increase dB gain in a given building? Yeah, so this product is 100 dB of gain. Uh, it's a smart signal booster. Uh, we have other, there are other similar products uh, in the marketplace that, that have similar types of functions. We're about 100 to 1,000 times stronger than the next strongest, or the next product in, in our class uh, at 100 dB gain. Uh, most of the products in this category are 60, 65 dB gain, which is substantially less, less power. So you get a lot of bang for your buck with this. Uh, that's how we can deliver a large covered footprint with a small, a small form factor device. So when's this product going to be available? Uh, it'll be available uh, by the end of the year. We're looking at uh, November for first shipments. Uh, we're sampling it now, and uh, we'll be we'll be shipping by the end of the year. And how's it going to be distributed? So we have a we have a network of distributors in the U.S. Get Wireless is uh, is uh, one of our biggest. Uh, you'll be able to buy it through through the distribution and and all the VAR channels that are that are that work with our distribution networks. So basically, all the usual suspects. Wherever you buy uh, cellular or safety products today, you'll be able to uh, find this product. And finally, when will we see other products like this from Cellfine? Uh, like I said, public safety is a is a is an exciting category for us. It's a new category and uh, we have a lot of energy going into developing products and solutions in this, in this category. We have other uh, form factors and other types of products that are appropriate for other kinds of use cases, and we will be deploying and delivering products into those other categories as well in the public safety context. So uh, stay tuned. Um, we're gonna have a lot more announcements over the coming months and, uh, and years. Great, Joe, thanks for your time. Uh, this is Jeff Mucci from RCR Wireless News reporting from Mobile World Congress Americas in Los Angeles. Thank you.